this is kind of nuts, dude. So it was actually first reported on Donnie and Dolly with Rick Dollywall, but the news is apparently that Calgary Flames forward Milan Lucic is likely heading over to the Boston Bruins when free agency opens on Saturday. Chris Johnston reports that with Milan Lucic free to speak with teams ahead of free agency opening Saturday, it sounds like a reunion with the Bruins is indeed a strong possibility. The one who broke this was actually Rick Dollywall, and yeah, he goes out there and says, that, yeah, it was reported first here. Lucic to the Bruins will indeed happen after hearing a possible reunion. Now, this is interesting because we did make a video earlier this year, I want to say, discussing the idea of a Lucic reunion. And the thing is, when Boston was in that timeline, like when we made that video specifically, the Bruins were on top of the world, they were on top of the league, and we had a lot of comments saying, oh, I don't know if this is really, like, necessary, you know? Is this really a thing that the Bruins need to pursue? Well, I mean, now they're going out there and doing it, so I guess it probably was. He's 35 years old, 6'3", 231, left-handed forward, signed till the end of this season. He was on a $6 million AAV deal that saw him start out making that amount of money, I forgot when it was, but he has been making $6 million per season ever since 2013-14. That contract, I believe it was two separate contracts wherein he was making $6 million. Yeah, it was. There was a $6 million from Boston, and then there was a $6 million from Edmonton. So, Lucic has been the $6 million man this entire time. There's no way he's going to get that same amount of money or anywhere close to that in Boston, considering last season he had 19 points in 77 games played. He was a very effective forward with the Kings and eventually the Oilers at the start of that tenure at least, but... During his days in Calgary, he just kind of became known as Luch. He was a slow guy who had a really good bite to his game. He could fight guys, and I think that's a reputation that he's carried out in his career for the majority of this decade or two. But now, going back to Boston, he'll be bringing up all those things onto a team that is poised to hopefully repeating the success they had had in 22-23. If the Bruins end up somehow miraculously winning a cup or making the finals or something, a la the Florida Panthers, President's Trophy winners to Stanley Cup finalists the next year, then Lucic having two Stanley Cup finals experiences under his belt, or no, excuse me, yeah, just one, what am I talking about? One Stanley Cup finals appearance, no, 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 two, yeah, Boston 2013, yeah, they were in the finals then, yeah, 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 yeah. I knew that sentence sounded right when I said it in my head at the very beginning, but Lucic having two Stanley Cup Finals appearances with the Bruins, for crying out loud, there's definitely a lot of leadership and experience in that locker room, and Lucic brings a part of that too. Imagine with Krejci and Bergeron, imagine all these guys coming back, Lucic being placed with that too? Like, there's a really good nostalgia line right there for everybody in the Boston area. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Either way, all your opinions about Lucic going to the Bruins. This will indeed happen, as reported by Dolly Wall. I hope you enjoyed this video. Charles 99. And bye.